What's up guys, welcome back to Gamers Be Like, I'm Bond, and I'm here to show off the new update for Evil Within 2. So, this just came out, um, a few days ago, and it basically added the ability to implement cheats and Akumu mode. So, when you get to the main menu, you'll see here I pressed X to access the Bethesda.net thing. And uh, you'll go ahead and input all your stuff here. If uh, if you don't have an account, make an account. If you have a Bethesda account, you can just log in. Yeah, you know, once you've done that, you can you know log in, create it, whatever. It'll tell you your account is linked, and it'll tell you what you've unlocked. So we've got Akumu, Infinite Stamina Mode, Super Strength Mode, and Invincibility Mode. So we will. Um, I will just show you guys um, to unlock Akumu Mode. You have to have beaten the game once, and it's available as a new difficulty after that um, so this mode is exactly like uh, it was in Evil Within 1 you get basically you get hit you die in one hit like the game's set to the higher difficulty and there you go even a single hit is deadly the ultimate challenge is not for the faint of heart skills that directly prevent you from dying will not work when playing this difficulty take care when choosing your skills so that's stuff like uh, you know increased health and that kind of thing and reduced income and damage well, that won't work on here because you're dying in one hit no matter what. Which, on Evil Within 1, that difficulty was a pain in the ass. So, uh, if you're up for the challenge, uh, <laughs> go right ahead. But, um, I'm going to mainly show off the cheats. And I'll just load up this save, this old save of mine that I've had for a while. I'm just going to jump right in and turn them on. And show them off a bit for you guys. So yeah, uh, if you haven't played this game, it is it is a really good game, and I'll uh, I'll put a link up above for the review I did for it back when it came out, and I believe you can get it pretty cheap now. Um, there's no kind of season pass or anything either; it's just straight up the whole game's there. Um, so here I am putting in the cheats. So yeah, oh yeah, that is what they added previously as well first person mode that was added post launch so if you fancy playing it in first person you could as well um so we'll enable all three of these sheets invisibility super strength and unlimited stamina um so yeah i mean i'd highly recommend getting the game playing it once just uh to experience it and then maybe playing it again with the cheats but i mean obviously that's entirely up to you um it is a really good game. I highly recommend it. I hope we get to see another one because I did really enjoy the first one, but I thought this one was a, a massive step forward. Um, as I said, you, you can see why I thought it was so great in that review. So yeah, um, Super Strength is a little... Uh, a, a little misleading, I guess. I've seen a couple of people ask the question around um, what what constitutes a, a one hit kill, and it is everything. So anything you do will kill anything in one hit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn the brass knuckles off because that enabled a one hit kill anyway. Um, so just to show you guys that it does. Um, just so you, you know, so you can see me actually one hit killing stuff without him. Um, I'm gonna leave infinite ammo on, but that isn't one of the cheats for the uh, for the update. Um, you get that for beating the game on classic mode, which is basically the hardest difficulty, but with the no seven saves, I think you get the seven. It's a limited amount of saves either way. But these cheats do work on that mode, so. You are looking to try and beat it, and uh, you need a little bit of help. These cheats will make it a breeze. So yeah, uh, I shot that guy in the head, but I mean, with an assault rifle, I don't think it should have really killed him in one hit. Here's me faffing around with the controls because it's been a little bit since I played the game. Just getting to grab grips with it. Um. Yeah, uh, I'm not 100% sure if this applies to bosses or not. I've only just thought of that. Um, so, I think it should. The only caveat to one of these cheats that I 
I've seen is that the invincibility mode doesn't apply to like scripted deaths. So you know if it's like a um, like a um, cutscene or something or something where you got to run away and if like like the thing right at the beginning of the game where you're running out the uh, running away from uh, Laura, that she will kill you if she catches up, like invincibility or not. So that kind of scripted death will still kill you. Uh, but aside from that, you are <laughs> your god, basically. So you would still have to uh, look out for ammo and stuff if this was your first time through and you hadn't beaten Classic for the infinite ammo mode. But, um, I mean, the fact that you can't die, you can't... I mean, you could just slap everything with your knife if you wanted to. So here is... Uh, anyone who's played the game will recognize this enemy. She takes a lot of bullets. And uh, I just killed her by shooting her once in the shin. <laughs> I got quite a lot of pleasure from that because she was a pain in the ass when I beat this game on Classic back in the day. Um, I, I actively avoided her because I didn't have the ammo for um, <laughs> to deal with her. Um, Sounds like someone's in trouble. But yeah, that was, that was quite satisfying shooting her in the, in the, in the shin. And watching her fall down. So yeah, as you can see, I've been sprinting around as well. Uh, that orange bar on the left of the health would ordinarily be your stamina, and it would run out as you sprint around. But obviously, with infinite stamina, you are free to keep sprinting. I believe the melee also decreases stamina. So um, you know, you can just keep swinging and running not have to worry about it which is pretty sweet so, I mean I understand that these cheats wouldn't be for everybody some people want the challenge which is uh, which is fine too but that's why the here is just an option I mean they basically gave with this update for linking your account you got options for like both styles of players if you're the guy and a person that wants a challenge you have a coup mode for the one hit kill um, difficulty um, or one hit death I guess so if you're if you're the, the kind of person that wants to uh, take the challenge, then uh, that's there for you. If you're the type of person that just likes to mess around and just see what you know, maybe just experience the story, or you just like feeling overpowered, then um, <laughs> my guy's holding an invisible gun right now. Then yeah, uh, this these cheats will definitely be right up your alley. Um, Yeah, yeah. There you go. Just mode them all down, whatever. <laughs> I believe this is on easy difficulty, though. But, I mean, it doesn't matter either way. Like I said, you can activate these cheats on anything. And I believe even Akuma mode. I'm not entirely sure how the invisibility works on Akuma mode, but... I don't really see the point in playing Akuma mode if you're going to activate these cheats. Kind of defeats the purpose, in my opinion. But, I mean, feel free to go ahead. Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Lead the way. And, uh, yeah. Come on. So, I think I've just about shown them all off. You saw me get mauled in that fight right there without taking any damage. You see me just kneecap at Laura. Is it? No, look. I can't remember what the big thing's called. I don't think it's Laura. Maybe it is. I can't remember. Whatever. You see me kneecap her. Um, you see me sprint forever. And that is, like, <laughs> you'll never have to worry in this game if you turn all three of those on. Um, so yeah, I can definitely see it from both, um, both sides, like, people, I, I, I love playing a game where I can feel overpowered, but I do sometimes like a challenge, so, both of these updates for me are pretty cool. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to try Kumu though, because... Evil Within 1, that was a little bit... I mean, I did eventually beat it, but it was... It was quite a stressful experience. I'm not sure I really want to do that again. But, um... But, yeah, this... It would be... Anyone who can beat it, I mean, make sure to comment below, and I would love to hear any kind of stories or close calls or unfortunate deaths, you know... Basically, your story on uh, how you beat it. That'd be uh, that'd be cool to read. Yeah, anyone who, again, anyone who's played this game will recognize these pain in the ass enemies. 
with the knives. Just took a couple bullets from her, like whatever. There's another one, we'll shoot her in the leg. If I can aim. Yeah, so <laughs> these sheets really do make the game a breeze. And as an extra note, if you are into trophies or achievements, it is reported that these do not disable them at all, which makes the platinum or the thousand gamer score in this game an absolute joke now. Um, like I said, I think I'm missing one achievement in this game tied to a boss fight for uh, the flamethrower guy. Um, no, one, I won't name him for spoiler reasons, but he, uh, yeah, I did classic mode um, without the cheats, and uh, yeah, it was it was a very rewarding experience. But I mean, like I said, if you just want a quick, well, not really too quick, but if you want an easy, easy, easy thousand or platinum, then this game is definitely on the list now. Um, it will probably still take you, you know, 10 to 20 hours maybe with the cheats, because um, I think you need to beat it once on a difficulty to unlock classic mode. So you basically run through the game once. Uh, I mean, if you had cheats on the whole time, you could just run through the game, get all the collectibles and stuff, and then just run through on classic mode again afterwards. So you're probably looking at like under 15 if you do it that way. Um, or, you know, you could play it once on, on easy or normal or whatever and just play the game and then mop up everything on classic mode. That's also another option. There's a few different ways you could do it with the cheats if you still have a very easy time of the, uh, of the completion. Um, I mean, the other thing with these cheats is once they're on, they're not permanently on. You can turn them on and off as you see fit. So if you're just playing the game your first time you could um, turn them on when you were at like a tricky spot and then turn them off when you were struggling a little bit no when you when you were done struggling sorry but yeah so that is the cheats I will leave you guys um, now but uh, again comment below what you think of this update and uh, let me know uh, if you've been using them, if you played the game, if you like the game, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys uh, in another video.